am Gauri Khandelwal and you're watching DNA. Well, as the election commission continues to announce the Lok Sabha election results, the picture has become clear that the BJP-led NDA will form the next government. But PM Narendra Modi's proud proclamation of Ab Ki Baar Char So Par has fallen flat. Well, defying all exit poll predictions, the India bloc has put up a significantly better performance, crossing the 200 mark comfortably. This has largely been possible due to the stellar performances of local parties, especially Trinamul Congress, TMK, Samajwadi Party, Shiv Sena. BJP has emerged as the single largest party once again and are currently leading in 238 seats, having won two already. Well, on the other hand, Congress is leading in 98 seats, which is almost double of the number of seats they managed to win in the 2019 general elections. Well, here we take you through the key takeaways from the 2024 Lok Sabha election results. Well, firstly, Trinamool has done surprisingly well in Bengal, especially in the aftermath of Sandesh Kali incident. The Mamta Energy led party is currently leading in 29 seats in West Bengal out of 42, which is close to their 2004. 14 LS post results, where they back 34 seats despite the strong Modi wave across the country. Well, secondly, the TDP, which is also sweeping the Andhra Pradesh Assembly elections, is leading in 16 Lok Sabha seats across the state. Meanwhile, Nitish Kumar-led JDU is leading in 12 seats in Bihar. Well, these two alliance partners will be crucial for the BJP when they look to form the next government. Given Nitish Kumar's history of switching alliances, it will become a tricky situation for the BJP if he has a change of mind once again. Well, time will tell if Chandra Babu Naidu and Nitish Kumar will become kingmakers this time. Well, thirdly, Rahul Gandhi, who lost the Congress stronghold of Amethi to Smriti Rani in 2019 general elections, has stormed back this time. He had contested from two seats, Wayanad in Kerala and Rai Bareilly in Uttar Pradesh. Well, Nota has created another record for itself this time around. In Indore, where the Congress candidate had withdrawn himself from the contest, Nota has garnered more than 2.1 lakh votes, beating the previous record set by Bihar's Gopal Ganj with certain votes. Well, sixth, Samajwadi Party has emerged as the second largest party of India bloc, won 15 leading in 23, while the BJP is giving them a neck-to-neck -neck fight in Uttar Pradesh with 15 wins, leading 17 seats. Yogi's image within the party might take a dent after the results. Well, seventh, BJP had pinned a lot of hope on the construction of Ayodhya Ram Mandir to give them an edge in Lok Sabha polls. However, as it stands now, Adesh Prasad of Samajwadi Party is leading from Faizabad, the constituency under which the Ram Mandir falls. Well, next would be Delhi has once again showed that it decides differently in, in Assembly and Lok Sabha elections. While AAP holds 61 seats in 70-seat Delhi Assembly, the BJP is on the verge of sweeping all 7 LS seats in the national capital. Ninth, the BJP for the first time has managed to open its account in Kerala, in the southern state. The chief party of the ruling alliance LDF, the CPMM, has reduced to just one seat. And the last but not the least, now that the opposition is stronger than after the 2019 elections, it will also be the difficult for BJP to pass highly contentious bill like One Nation, One Election and Uniform Civil Code. Well, that's it. Keep watching DNA.